Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, it's been a million years since I've said that. That was so weird. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be posting a YouTube video today. First of all, it has been forever. Let's actually see how long it's been. Technically, it's been two years. That's crazy. 2,000 years later. Don't bug, your girl is back. I've been posting a lot of content over on TikTok and Instagram, but I really have been missing YouTube so much lately. I miss connecting with you guys. I miss doing makeup tutorials and just talking for longer than a minute. So I just got ready today and I was like, let's do a YouTube video. Kind of felt surreal because I haven't filmed one in so long, but I'm just so excited to be filming this. And just to do this more in 2024, it helps there has been some pretty amazing makeup launches lately. So that is why we are here today. We're gonna talk about some makeup. Also, if you guys have any ideas for future videos, like what you wanna see from me, life updates, get ready with me as hauls, vlogs, leave all of those suggestions down below because this is something I wanna keep doing in 2024 and I am really excited for this new era. So the reason for this video is Makeup by Mario. He gifted me his new lipsticks. Seriously, his makeup is incredible. Incredible. These are the new Super Satin Lipsticks. There is 18 shades and all of the names are inspired by New York City, Mario's hometown. Also where my mom is from, she was born in the Bronx and there is a lipstick called Bronx Baby. This is Mario's favorite color, so we're gonna try that one. We're gonna try all of them. But I have been using them the last few days and I love this formula. I think it's so beautiful. I haven't tried all of the shades yet, so I'm excited to see how they look. Pray for my lips, pray for them. Let's quickly talk about the packaging because I think it is so sleek and classy like i love the magnetic bullet like this that is satisfying to me and the formula of these is a classic creamy satin sheen they feel very hydrating on the lips they have a nice slip to them so they're very comfortable to wear throughout the day and they retail for 28 dollars on sephora and also on makeup by mario's website starting with midtown this is a light neutral pink and it looks like it is the most pale out of the bunch. So this is like, for those of you who love like a milky nude, that's really pale. This is like Myth from MAC, super nude. I never wear colors like this. I don't know why, but I kind of like it. I can see it maybe with a lip liner. I don't know how to feel about it. Do you guys like it on me or no? Flat iron is a warm beige. This is definitely more of a warm pale nude versus that first one we tried. This kind of reminds me of Freckle by MAC. Has those orangey yellow undertones in it. The thing that's really nice about these is when you swipe them on, you get that instant color and you really don't need many layers because they're so opaque. Also really like the name of this one because I think the flat iron building is just majestic. Like how is that even real? It is so cool to look at. Every time I drive by it in like a cab or something, I'm like, mom, look. South Shore is a cool pink nude. I also wanted to mention that the bullet is so pointed, so it's really easy to almost line your lips with it. Of course, I would definitely use a lip liner with like all of these really nude shades, but if you didn't, it wouldn't be that hard to line it with the bullet. This next one is Bronx Baby. This is Mario's favorite shade. And I also really love this one. This is one of my favorites. It is described as a soft, warm rose. I love how it just gives nice definition to your lips without it being too pale. Like I can see my lips, but it's still a nude and it's more of like a cool toned nude. I also love the name because my mom is a Bronx baby. So I think of my mom when I think of the shade. This next shade is 917. And 917 is the area code for the five boroughs of New York City. So the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and Staten Island. You're starting to get into the shades that I love to wear. These like mid-tone, warm rose colors. Ooh, they're my comfort colors. I just love these. I would love to know why my lips look like they should be at Halloween Horror Nights right now. Like, why are they gray? Why? Scary. This next shade is called Nolita and it's described as a mid-tone warm pink. And this is actually one of my favorite shades from this entire range. I just think it is the perfect everyday lip. Like I love the balance of nude and pink. It is the pinky nude of the bunch. It's gorgeous. And if you love Mac Murr or Mac Brave or Twig or 
Soar Lip Liner. You will love this color. It's like in that family. Also, these have like a very subtle sweet scent. I'm getting kind of like a vanilla scent. I love scented lipsticks. I do not mind a little fragrance in there. Next up, we have Dumbo, which is a spiced rose shade. I haven't tried this shade yet, but I really like it. Such a pretty, spicy, pink rose tone. And if you are a true autumn like myself, that is my color palette, then these shades like will look amazing on you too. They really complement like warm tones in like your skin and in your hair and your eyes. Love this color. Next up, we have a coral shade and this is called Soho. It's described as a spiced coral. This is a gorgeous coral and I can see this being so perfect for spring. Ooh, I'm so excited for spring makeup, like all the peaches and corals. Also the name, Soho. Let's do a little shopping in Soho. A little retail therapy never hurt in Soho. Maybe get some pizza after. Sounds like my kind of day. Next we have Uptown Girl. It's described as a rusty orange red. Yes, we are getting into the reds. This is another shade that I would love to wear more. It's kind of giving me like a 70s vibe and I love that. This is my favorite shade of this entire line. It's called Broadway and it's described as a cool bright pink. This color can look so different on everyone. Like on some people, it is really, really vivid and bold. The perfect pink. I just love the tone of this. This is the color family that I was talking about, like those pinks, berries, nudie pinks, the lipsticks that you probably have like a bunch of that you just keep buying because they're your favorite shade. That's this one for me. This is one of the ones that was sold out on Sephora and I totally get it. I told my mom to get this one ASAP to get the alerts because I knew she was going to love this shade too. This is West Village. It's described as a rich magenta shade. Absolutely love how bold Mario got with the shade range. I mean, this color is like a pop against all of these other shades and I am loving it. Next up we have Chelsea and this is a red orange and I love this name because Chelsea is where I like to stay when I go to New York. I love Chelsea. I love the Chelsea market. I love walking around Chelsea and because this is a spicy orange it doesn't just get a love it gets an obsessed. I'm like a cringy influencer. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. But I really am obsessed with this color. I love these like red oranges, especially in the summertime. This is like the perfect summertime red. This is Harlem. It's a warm brick red shade. And I haven't lined any of these with any lip liner. I'm just using a lip brush to really blend this edge on these bolder shades. I love this color. I wasn't expecting to, but I love it. Yes. Next up, we have the shade Tribeca, and this is the intense blue red of the bunch. This is the classic red, your go-to red Tribeca. That is where I would love to live in New York City. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of New York City. And this color is just as gorgeous as Tribeca. It's like classic glamour, very Taylor Swift. Four shades to go. Let's go. Okay, this next one is Rockefeller. I did a little lip combo with this on my IG and you guys went insane for it. Thank you for the love. I love this color. I think this is a really pretty, very elevated red because it's a little bit deeper than the last shade we tried. And this is described as a rich brick red. Gorgeous, gorgeous color, especially paired with like a darker lip liner. This is called Central Park and it's a raisin brown giving major 90s vibes with this color. This shade reminds me of like a delicious hot cup of coffee, which is one of my favorite things. I love this brown shade. Then we have this vampy shade. It's called Forest Hills. It's described as a rich wine. This is another shade that sold out really quick. It was like one of the first shades to sell out. And I totally get it because this is such a beautiful wine color. It's like very deep. It's the perfect nighttime bold lip. 
kind of reminds me of Black Cherry from Revlon. Reputation Era Lipstick. And if you want to try the red wine makeup trend that's happening right now, this is the shade to wear. And lastly, we have Downtown Girl. This is described as an intense plum brown. And in my opinion, this is like the most unique fashion shade of all of them. Like, I just feel like this is such an editorial color. It's so different. And once again, giving me delicious coffee vibes for some reason. If I had to rank my favorite shades out of all 18, which by the way, I cannot believe we just swatched 18 lipsticks. My lips survived only because these lipsticks were not matte. So my favorites were number one, Broadway, that beautiful pink. Number two, Nolita. Nolita reminds me of that one time when I was in Nolita and I did the Catacombs by Candlelight tour, which was so cool. So it brings back good memories, but also the color is beautiful. <laughs> number three, Dumbo, four, Harlem. And I think number five is this one. I was not expecting to love this one, but it is so bold, it is so different. It's very unique and I really like it with like this brown smoky eye I have on. I loved these. I think Mario did an amazing job with this formula, the shades. And I also think Mario is just an awesome person. I got to meet him once. It was at Ipsy Gen Beauty in 2017. And I remember he had a masterclass that I went to. And afterward, he was like standing off to the side. And I like, I wasn't supposed to do this, but I did anyways. I like went around this barricade to like meet him. And he was so nice. I remember I had a blue wig on. If I can find the photo, I'm going to put it here. I hope you guys enjoyed all the swatches. Leave a comment down below which shade is your favorite. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.